Hello. If you're really into helping animals and you find places like this, it breaks your heart. It looks like a house of horror. We basically just saw a dog running into this building. And sometimes you have a funny feeling if you see something. There are a lot of dogs. You cannot see them, but they're everywhere. It's an abundant building, empty, nobody cared about it, and just a bad, bad place, and just not the way dogs should be treated. In the moment I entered in this building, I knew I want to just have this whole place empty, and this whole situation should change. I volunteered two years straight in different shelters in different countries in East Europe. I rescued in this barn six puppies. Now we go to the vet. The other strays are still here. I will feed them and win the trust. And I will try to catch them all and neuter them all. Taking now two of the puppies with us and go back and take the neutered dogs. And just went from shelter to shelter to shelter to shelter to shelter and discovered that what I want to do is to help animals. Saved all my money and one year later I started all of this in Bulgaria. The treatment of dogs is really, really bad in this country. And so basically what I tried with Neil to build is an organization that is focused on education and neutering and we of course rescue and rehome. The day before yesterday we met with the police and they agreed, which means we can take all of these dogs. I have the most important tool with me. It's a different country. People have a lot of problems. They are really poor. It's common to use abundant buildings in Bulgaria to hold dogs but not in this way. There were three chain dogs. We went to all of them. They were all super friendly and no aggression. So the plan for now is take the puppies and the mother. Um, we drive them to Neil's house where they will live. She was pretty scared. She was shivering. But when we came closer and pet her and stroke her, she was calming down. Just put the lead around them, cut the chain, and we walk them out to the car. She's now in my garden. That's the other kennels, and they can run around here. It's all fenced in. The life changed dramatically in a positive way. Two of the four puppies are already adopted. The white dog, Debbie, is also adopted. The old one, Lucy, needs to stay with us because she still needs a lot of medical treatment and attention and love. But she is a lot better, like 100 times better. She was happy tail wagging. They are free. We walk them every day. We have 10,000 square meter, which is a huge field. It's completely fenced, so they can run around. Usually with rescues, I think they understand and they appreciate what you did for them. It pushes me to do more stuff like this because it was a really successful rescue. All the dogs are happy and that's really great.